Today I'm going to be walking you guys through a tutorial of how to take your horizontal videos and squeeze them together to make it vertical because Instagram and TikTok and all these other social media sites like to ruin videography and make us edit videos vertically now. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to create our project, our vertical project. So we go to file up here, go to new, and then you're going to hit project or you can hit command end. Um, on your keyboard. What's cool is here, there's already a tab here uh, for different presets and they make it easy. They have vertical already. Um, and for the resolution, you wanna choose 1080 by 1920. That's gonna be plenty enough. So we'll press okay. It's gonna create that project. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the horizontal project and I'm just gonna copy this first example. I'm just gonna highlight everything, command copy, command C, and then command V here at the beginning. And as you can see, when you drop it in, everything's not gonna be resized to that. It's still gonna be fitting inside of that vertical uh, dimensions. So the first thing that we wanna do is you wanna highlight everything with command A. And then I love this about Final Cut, they make it really easy to resize everything. All you're gonna do is in the inspector tab, over here, you wanna make sure this is open. You wanna make sure you're on this first one right here. Then you're gonna scroll all the way down and under spatial conform and type, you're gonna click this and then pick fill. And as you can see, it just automatically fills up the entire um, screen now. And so from here, um, it's gonna be all about transforming or and moving around the clips to make sure that you like the composition within this framing. This is a good example of this video. It's a, it's a normal type of video that has all, a lot of the elements that you would find yourself having to re-edit in this vertical timeline. It's got two different camera angles, titles and generators, and then it's also got B-roll on top of, of stuff. And as, you, as, and as you can see already, just scrubbing through this timeline, you can't really tell everything that's going on in some of them. So we're, you're definitely gonna have to resize, but we'll start with uh, some of these A cam and B cam clips. So to, to move things around, it's super simple, just highlight a clip. And then over here in the bottom left, you can hit this transform tool. And he, he actually kind of looks pretty centered, but he could be a little bit more in the center. So I'm gonna just grab this, grab the middle. So you make sure that uh, you're not moving around because if I grab up here, it's easy to get off of frame. You simply just kind of move it around until you like how it looks. And What's cool about um, these clips, if it's a stationary shot, a lot of times you can just copy and then paste it to your other clips that are similar, like this A cam clip. Highlight the clip we edited, Command C to copy. Then I would go over to the other clips that I might that I want to paste this to. Press Shift Command V, and that's gonna paste the attributes. Now the only thing that we want to copy is this, the positioning. So we're gonna unclick all these other ones. Make sure we unclick all those and then we'll just press paste. And as you can see, it's shifted the, the video to where we want it to be. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit of the, to some of the B-roll. So for this clip right here, he's not even in the shot. So you have to change it. Again, just transform. And then we're just gonna move it a little bit to over here to where we could see his hands and what he's doing. He's, he's uh, plastic wrapping some equipment. That makes sense, so we'll scrub through it, make sure it looks good. Looks pretty good. Um, let's do a couple more clips. This one, you can see what he's doing, but he's a little bit, he's facing to the left, and we know that um, rule of thirds, whichever way, whichever uh, direction they're facing, we want there to be open space in the direction he's looking. So we want to shift them over to the right a little bit like this, it's a lot better composition, something like that. And you're just gonna do this over and over. Now what I wanna do next is uh, show you uh, specifically a specific type of clip where you wanna, where if it was a horizontal video, it makes sense because you could see the whole space. For this example, I'll just press play and as you can see, we didn't even see him until like a second and a half into that clip. So I'm just gonna copy this and put it over here really quickly. 
just going to put this clip over here and then I'm going to go back into the spatial conform and put fit just so you can see how the actual shot looked. See on a, on a, um, on a horizontal video, the shot looks cool because you could see him going from right to left in the frame. And for a clip like this, where we want to see him in frame the whole time, um, we're going to have to do some key framing. So to key frame this shot, you want to make sure that you're going to start at the beginning of the clip and you want to make sure that N or the snapping tool is on so that it snaps, the playhead snaps right at the beginning. So what you want to do now is hit the transform tool and then you want to move it in the frame to where you can maybe start to see him like right here since it's the beginning of the clip. And then we're going to hit this keyframe tool here in the top left. And so now when we move along the timeline and wherever we move this, it's going to shift towards uh, the framing is going to shift towards that spot. So now we'll just move this along a little bit and we'll see where he starts to, where he starts to move out of frame is where we want to stop. So right about over here is where we want to stop the playhead. And then we're going to shift him more. And remember what I said in one of the B-roll clips, whichever you're, uh, according to the rule of thirds, whichever direction your subject is facing, you want to have more open space on that side. So we're going to shift it over here. Okay. And then we're going to keep now, now that I've made that movement and you can see it's making that keyframe on the timeline where I made, where I made that change. And then we'll just keep on moving over here and then move to the end. And we, then again, you want to move it a little bit more this way to right right there. So now that we've made our keyframes, all you're going to do is press done. And now and that and then of course you want to check it to make sure it's good. All right. And then another important thing is if you have titles and uh plugins in your shot. Th this is a logo that I keyframed into making this like uh rotating and sliding in shot and so that's kind of going to kind of be a pain to keyframe everything again to make it right. So an easy way to do it is we're going to go back to our horizontal project. And what I'm going to do is this right here. I'm just going to highlight both the logo and the title plugin. I'm going to right click and pick compound, new compound clip. And you can name it whatever you want, uh, title, title clip, I guess. And then after we do that, I'm just going to copy command C vert, go back to our vertical timeline again, using the end tool to make sure we're snapping it right at the beginning of where we want it to be command V. And then we're just going to highlight this old title clips and press V to disable it. Or you could just delete it. I'll just disable it for now. And then now all you have to do for this, now we have the entire thing. It's going to make the same exact, movements uh, that it did in the original clip. And then we're just going to hit the transform tool and then we're just going to enlarge it, move it a little bit over here, get it to where you want it to be. And that's probably good right there. It looks a little bit center. Of course you can make more adjustments and then just press done. And then we'll check how it looks just to make sure. I'm responsible for all things logistics, right? So warehousing, car. Okay, hey, cool. So it looks, it looks great to me. And then the last thing is just going through every single clip. You want to make sure you go every single clip to make sure you like the framing. I'm not going to do it in this video, but last thing is just any other text that you have something like this easy to just resize and then simply just change the size of the text. That looks pretty good. Maybe we'll just move it up a little bit to where it's a little bit more center and that's how looks good to me. And now all you need to do is just to export your clip. So as you can see guys, it's relatively simple to take a horizontal video and turn it into a vertical video for social media. And a couple pro tips that I want to give you guys is that try to shoot most of your videos in horizontal because it's easier to take a horizontal clip as you, as you saw here and turn it into a vertical clip. But if you shoot vertically, it's going to be a lot harder to take that vertical video and make it look good in a horizontal format. Um, and another thing is 
try to shoot everything in 4K because you're keeping that resolution. So even when you're cropping that video uh, so much, it's still gonna look really good. I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, please leave a like and a comment. This channel is all about helping you guys make better content. So if you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to you. Hope you guys have a blessed day and I'll catch you on the next one.